Hey guys, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can create a multilingual WordPress site or how you can translate your WordPress site into multiple languages. Okay, so let's start. We already have a site and we have logged into the back end of our WordPress site. So if we take a look at it, you can see this is our site. We used Cadence AI to create this site. If you guys want to learn how you can use Cadence AI to create a website, we already have a tutorial. We will mention it in the description. So check it out. We want to translate this website into multiple languages. For this, we are going to use a plugin called Weglot. So let's head back to our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we are going to hover our mouse over plugins and click on add new plugin. And we're going to search for Weglot. And here is the plugin. This is one of the most popular translation plugin for WordPress. You can see it has 60,000 plus active installations and it's compatible with our version of WordPress. And if you even look at the last update, it was updated eight hours ago. So we are going to click on install now to install this plugin. After it's installed, we are going to click on this activate button. As you can see, our Weglot has been installed and we also see a notification over here that says Weglot Translate is installed but not yet configured. You need to configure Weglot here. The configuration takes only one minute. All right, so it's telling us to configure Weglot. You know, we need to configure it in order to translate our site. We can easily click on this link to go to the configuration page or we can go to the configuration page from here. You can see Weglot has been added on our dashboard. We're going to click on this link and as soon as we click over here, it's bringing us to the main configuration page. Here you can see we have a few options. The first one is the API key. We need to paste in our API key and for that reason, we have to log into our Weglot account. If you do not have your Weglot account, you need to create one. But if you have one, you can simply log in and find the API key. To do that, we are going to go to the Weglot site and this is Weglot's official page. You can create an account by adding your email address and password and you can click on sign up. If you already have an account, you can click on this log in and put in your email address and password to log in. I already have an account, so I'm going to click on this uh, login. I'm going to add in my email address and password, and then I'm going to click on the login button. As soon as we log in, we can see this page, the projects page here. We can create a project. First, we're going to insert the name of our project. Okay, you can see that it's adding a tick mark over here. All right. Next, we have to select which technology we are using. So if we click on this drop down, you can see it's big commerce, bubble, Drupal, Jimbo, Magento, PrestaShop. So all the technologies are over here. Since we're using WordPress, we're going to select WordPress and then we're going to click on next. And the project has been created. Here we can see set up Weglot for your WordPress website in three simple steps. So the first step is the API key. We are going to copy this. Then we are going to go back to our WordPress site and we're going to paste in the API key. Next, if we go back to the Weglot site, if we scroll down here, you can see it says add your API key, then your original language and your destination languages. Other fields are optional. So let's get back to our WordPress dashboard. There's a drop down for the original language. So currently our original language is English. The website is built in English. The destination language is which language we want our website to be translated to. So there's a bunch of languages over here. Weglot has a large library of languages. Okay, so let's translate our site into German. Over here we have German, so let's select it. And if you want it to be translated into some other languages, you can also select that. For example, um, let's select French. Okay, so we have selected these two languages. Now we're going to click on Save Changes. If you want to know what are the supported languages, you can click over here and it's going to show you how many languages Weglot supports. So after you're done, um, you're going to see this page. It says, well done, your website is now multilingual. Go on your website. There is a language switcher, bottom right, try it. So we're going to go to this later on. First, we're going to close it. And here are some options. So let's scroll down. Over here, you can see the language button design. 
the button preview will be like so. You can select if this will be a drop down. So if I click on it, the design will be like this. So this is basically a preview of how the language switcher will be displayed on the front end of your website. Okay. So currently the drop down is selected. If you disable this, this is how your uh, language switcher will be. With flags, if we disable this, we're only going to see the language and the flags will be cut off. But I think the flag is a good touch. So I'm going to keep it. You can also select the type of flag. Uh, currently the rectangle matte is selected. You can select rectangle shiny. You can select the square. You can select circle. Whatever you want. I think the rectangle matte was looking great with name so if i deselect this only the flag will be visible but i think it's looking a lot better and the full name yes i think the full name is great but if you think it's taking up too much space you can uh, disable this and it's going to take less space okay and you can also um, override css and enter your own design of course so there are more options to go through the language button position you can uh, change it in menu as a widget with short code in the source code. There are a bunch of options, but we are not going to look at those right now. We're simply going to see if our website translated. Okay, so I'm going to click on the save changes button. And once my changes are saved, we can go to our website and see how it's looking. You can see everything is okay. At the bottom right section, we can also see the language switcher. Okay, so it sticks at the bottom over here. If I click on it, I can translate my website to German. As you can see, everything translated. You see? Okay, so everything translated. Now, if there's something that we want to translate manually or if you do not like a particular translation you can change it manually simply we have to hover a mouse over wiglot and over here there's an option that says edit with visual editor so we are going to click on it and over here it brings us back to our wiglot dashboard here we can see a message that says your website url is not configured so we cannot display the editor you can change the url by going into your settings so if i click over at settings um, if we insert our URL, it's going to give us the visual editor where we can edit each and every section of our website. So currently I'm using a local host, so it's not going to pick up my site. But if your site is live, you can simply copy the URL and paste it over here. And this is going to open a visual editor where you can change each sections of your website. Okay. So keep in mind that in order to do manual translation editing, your site should have live online access. A simple local host might not work in that case. You better do it on a live server. To show you how the manual editing works, I've created another site on a live server. Here's the home page. So let's hover our mouse over the Wiglot menu and click on the edit with visual editor link. So. This is the visual editor and here you can see uh, this is a different website. The content over here, if you want to change something, you can simply hover your mouse over the content and click on this edit over here. And now you can see the English over at this section and this is the automatic translation. If you want, you can translate it manually. Okay. So any content you want, you can just click over here and then translate it yourself. Okay, so this is how you can use the visual editor to change or translate each and every sections of your site. So that was a short tutorial on how you can translate your website into multiple languages. If we click on English, we can change it back. So you might have noticed that we had selected French, too, but only the uh, German is appearing over here. The reason for that is we are using the free version of Wiglot and in the free version you can only select one language. So if we click on Wiglot over here in our WordPress dashboard, here you can see it says on the free plan you can choose one language and use a maximum of 2000 words. If you need more, please upgrade your plan. If we purchase uh, Wiglot Pro, 
So there are so many packages, the free, starter, business, pro, advanced, extended, and enterprise. These are all the premium plans that you can purchase. We are using the free version, and for this one, we can only use one language, translation, and 2,000 words, okay? So if you need more, for example, the starter, it lets you use only one language, translation, but it allows 10,000 words for translation. The business package allows three languages, the pro, allows 5, advanced uses 10, extended uses 20, and enterprise level um, gives you a custom amount of languages and words. So if you have your own demand beyond these, you can discuss with Weglot team and pick a plan that is suitable for you. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this tutorial. We hope that this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So till the next video, take care. Bye.